patient is a difficult intubation. An LMA has been inserted and the patient has been adequately oxygenated and ventilated. We now have to convert the endotracheal tube using an entry intubation catheter. The first thing to do is to attach the swab connector and access port and connect to the anaesthetic circuit and continue to oxygenate and ventilate your patient. The entry catheter is already mounted and secured with tape to the fibre scope. You can see, as the entry catheter is only 56 centimetres long, the end of the fibre scope is uncovered and can be manoeuvred. The fibre scope is passed through the swivel connector and down through the LMA into the airway. The size of the LMA really depends on the patient. However, a smaller size LMA may be needed in a patient with a difficult airway, where a large LMA may not seat so well. The fibroscope is passed through the glottis until we can see carina, but no further. At that point, we can check the depth of the entry catheter. You may need to advance slightly, however, never more than 26 centimetres. The tape is removed and the fibroscope retracted. The entry catheter is left in situ and again we check that the depth is okay. Here it's 20 centimetres. We then remove the swivel connector and then the LMA, try not to dislodge the entry catheter. Some counter pressure from an assistant and grasping the entry catheter in the mouth helps it keep in place. We then pass our endotracheal tube over the entry using a laryngoscope to assist tube delivery. We then connect to our anaesthetic circuit.